Every year, the best and brightest in music hope to hear their names called when the Grammy winners are announced. But how are those winners determined? And who decides who's even nominated? This is Billboard Explains how Grammy nominees and winners are chosen. The Grammy Awards are peer recognized by more than 13,000 Recording Academy members who are music creators and professionals. New member submissions into the Recording Academy require two recommendations from industry peers. The peer review panel is made up of uh, Recording Academy trustees that are also voting members of the Recording Academy. It is your fellow peers who are deciding who gets invited to the Recording Academy each year. In 2020, the Academy invited over 2,300 new voting and non-voting members. The move helped achieve gender parity with 48% female and 48% male members. The incoming class was also made up of 37% people of color, making this past year their most diverse ever. We're taking big steps, bold steps, to make sure that we are the most representative organization that we can be, and hopefully in music. But not everyone gets the privilege to vote. To become a voting member and have a voice in the nominees and winners, a member must carry technical credits on released tracks. Nominations for the 80 plus categories are determined by thousands of entries. Submissions must be released during a particular window each year to be eligible. All the submissions are verified for eligibility and move on to genre-based selection committees that collaborate to ensure those entries are placed in the appropriate category. After submissions are categorized properly, those ballots are released to the thousands of voting members for their choice of who the nominees will be. Voting members can vote in up to 15 categories in which they have expertise, as well as in each of the all-genre Big Four categories, Song of the Year, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, and Best New Artist. The votes are tabulated by the accounting firm Deloitte, and the results are sent to the Recording Academy's nomination review committees. These committees discuss the top 15 vote-getters, or 20 in the Big Four categories, from the first round of ballots and decide the final nominations themselves. The theory is that they spend a day or two listening to everything and they're going to be more objective. They're going to be less swayed by sentimentality, by uh, name power of the artists. Then it is on to voting. After the nominations are settled, another round of ballots are drawn up for Recording Academy voting members. Once those votes are cast, they are again tabulated by Deloitte. The Recording Academy finds out the results along with the rest of us when the winners are announced on Grammy night.